Hey guys, welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Billy Jackson, and today's video is going to be on Velvet Buzzsaw. Whew, man, it was tough getting through this. Um, when I first saw the trailer for this movie, I was super pumped. I mean, I was ready to watch this. I love the premise. You know, and if you, this is no spoiler or anything, but if you've seen the trailer, you know, it's about, you know, this art gallery and the, um, there's a man that dies that had all these weird paintings and they start selling the paintings and the people that are buying the paintings end up dying or, you know, but it was really weird. Um, it, it, it really had a bad pacing problem. I mean, this movie was slow. And when it and it tried to build this, you know, character development, you know, between Jake Gyllenhaal and this girl, and you know their boss, and it just didn't work. And they, it seemed like they just tried so hard. Hey, like this character, you know, like this dazzling piece of art because it might come to life later, way later, you know. Um, by the time the art started, you know, to come to life and stuff like in the trailer. I was kind of already done with the movie. <laughs> I was like, oh man. And it's not too far along, but but gosh, it took forever to really get going. And the thing is, it didn't really get going at all. As soon as like, you know, this might be a small spoiler, but as, as soon as the first person dies, you know, I was like, okay, here we go. Come on. Paintings start killing people. Let's see it. No. Nah, just drug on and drug on until the next thing happens and then it's going to drink on drug on and drug on then another thing's going to happen and then there's something that you think is going to happen and it doesn't happen and I, I i was just really confused about a lot of scenes in this movie i mean it just made me feel like why was i even watching this scene because they you know this one character they bring in and if you see it which i don't think you should if you see it you'll you'll know who i'm talking about um, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal's girlfriends, you know, uh, guy she cheats on him with or whatever you want to call it. You know, he starts looking at a painting and is like, oh my gosh, if you look at it long enough, it starts to move. And she's like, don't look at the painting and all this. And he was like, no, no, I want to buy it. And I thought something was going to go in the direction like, man, I hope that painting just leaps onto them and just kills these people. You never see the guy again. <laughs> I was like, what is going on here? This is not fun at all. And I thought when I saw the trailers and the previews, I thought this movie was going to be a lot of fun. You know, I, I love artwork and paintings and stuff like that. You know, I, I, I dig that kind of stuff. So when it was about the artwork coming to life, I was down. But man, it took a while to get there. And then it was just like kind of... You know, you take 20 minutes to get to a shot, and the, the shot lasts for maybe two minutes. You know, which is cool. You know, the stuff that they did do with the paintings was cool. And, you know, I'm not going to down it for that because there were a couple a couple of cool original ideas. But really, you've seen it all this all before. And, you know, it was really lackluster, this whole movie was. And I hate to say it because you know how I am, guys. If you are a regular on my channel, you know I'm like eights sevens eights nines you know i'll give a 10 every now and then you know i'm i'm pumped i give i usually give movies the benefit of the doubt you know even if they're eh, some movies are just terrible and you should never see um and i'll tell you that um, but i just got to give you my honest opinion on this i was i went in high expectations thinking it was going to be great but i was really bored um, and didn't really like it. So I suggest skipping Velvet Buzzsaw. Um, I wish Netflix would get, you know, on board with some more, you know, real grittier content. And not. It just seems like they're just throwing stuff at a wall and, and hoping it sticks. And then if it sticks, they just roll with it, whether they think it's great or not, you know. And some of these um, Netflix originals are really letting me down, you know. Um, I did like Bandersnatch. is the best one that I've ever seen. Um, so I definitely suggest watching that one. Um, Way Over This or Bird Box or anything like that, those movies aren't good, you know. And this movie wasn't good, but you might like it. All movies are subjective. You might get into the kind of slow pace and the burn, but... But really, the chemistry between the actors didn't really work well for me. Um, you know, the the splicing of the scenes, the editing really, you know, kind of fell apart and felt like it was stumbling over itself. 
Um, so that's why I didn't like the movie. But you guys might like it, so check it out if you want. But I no longer do ratings, so I'm not giving it a number or anything. But if I did, it'd be under a five. I know that. Um, but I'm just letting you know that I didn't like the movie, and but you might. So go check it out if you want to, guys. But if you want my honest opinion, I was bored to death. But have you seen Velvet Buzzsaw? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, you know what to do. Make yourself happy every day. And the only way to do that is to remember the only thing stopping you is you stopping. Bam!